I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. Siamese Mahjong is when you play two hands at one time with one opponent. You can play in person or you can play online. Look for a link in the video description below to the rules and to where you can download the application for your desktop or you could even play on a mobile device. When you play online, you have to make quick decisions. So practice identifying the strength in a hand by doing random pulls. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls. We'll alternate between player one and player two, so we'll get 28 tiles, then 27, and then 28. We don't have very many cracks. Lots of bams, lots of dots. So we have a joker, three flowers in east, two, five, six in cracks with a pair of twos. In bams, we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If we had a one, we'd have all the numbers. We have pairs of threes, sevens, and eights. In dots, we have one, two, three, five, six, seven, a pung of threes. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would play the consecutive pair hand and then two, three, six flowers. Six flowers, kongs of twos and threes. We're one short of being set. If we could kong here, kong here, pung here. We just need a flower or a joker. And then, or a two, then we could use this joker here. And then down here, we have one, two, three pair. We could do either two through eight or three through nine. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. Two through eight or three through nine. This plan gives us eight discards, which is good. That's a good guideline. Eight discards or less and two clear directions would give you a pretty good chance of winning that game, depending on how you pick, of course. If you would do something differently here, write what you would do in the comment section below the video with pull one. We have a joker, a flower, green, white, and red dragon with a pair of whites. In winds, we have northwest, south, pair of south. In cracks, we have one, two, three, seven, eight, nine, pair of nines. In dots, we have five, nine, pair nine. In bams, we have one, two, four, five, six, pair one, pair five. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards?
if these were my tiles, I think I would do news with nines and then one, two, one, two, dragon. That would use all but one multiple. So news with nines, we could do like numbers with fives, like numbers with ones, or one, two, one, two, dragon. I think I would keep all those and see what comes in. Since we have one bam, one crack, white dragon, I think I would keep the flower too. So we're kind of in between consecutive run and like numbers there. I think this is how I would do it though. We have a plan B here. Three hands, not ideal, but I think that's how I would do it. If these were your tiles, write pull two in the comment section below with what you would do with these tiles. We have a flower, red, white, green, dragons with a pair of reds, east, south, pair east. In cracks, we have one, four, six, seven, eight, pair one, pair seven. In bams, we have one, two, three, six, seven, nine, pair three. In dots, we have three, seven, nine, pair nine, and we have two jokers. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would play like numbers with sevens and dragons or a quint and then three, six, nine. That would use all but one multiple. So we have east, red, seven for maybe the first quint, or like numbers with sevens with options. We have three, six, nine, maybe three, six, nine with Kongs of nines. Second hand from the bottom under three, six, nine. I wouldn't pick a hand, I would just gather and see what develops. We do have three, three BM, six crack, nine dot for a mixed suit hand. So there's a couple hands we could do there. I would just gather. If we do well, we could maybe even try for the pair hand. But I think we could use this for joker bait. If you want to know more about that strategy, look for links in the video description below. So I would discard these first. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write pull three and what you would do. When you first get your dealt hand, arrange it like you would when you play the four player game. Put your flowers together, your winds and dragons together, and then put your numbered tiles together in suit in numerical order. Look for the strength in the tiles. That's going to either be the multiples or the predominant pattern, or both. Choose categories that will use most of your tiles and then gather. If you wanna know more about strategy for Siamese Mahjong, look for videos titled Strategy Theory. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If 
you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.